8. Emmy Ross As you likely already know, many people are willing to go to crazy lengths to get the perfect social media photo. Instagram influencer Emmy Ross is apparently no exception, as she proved in 2020 when she fell under police scrutiny for allegedly denting a squad car during a sultry photo shoot. The 21-year-old German celebrity Big Brother alum, who had 160,000 followers at the time, posed for the seductive shot on the hood of a patrol vehicle in the city of Hamburg. Emmy posted the photo on her Instagram along with a caption claiming that she'd been arrested after taking the snapshot. Around the same time, the Hamburg police announced the arrest of a woman they'd caught posing for pictures on top of a squad car. They accused the suspect of denting the hood and said that an investigation was underway. The agency also said that it planned to bill the perpetrator for the damages. 7. Carly Russell in a strange situation that's only gotten more bizarre as the details come to light, a 25-year-old nursing student from Hoover, Alabama is being accused of staging a kidnapping hoax. It all began in mid-July of 2023 when Carly Russell dialed 911 and claimed that she found a toddler stranded on the side of an interstate. She then called a family member and vanished into thin air for the next two days. 49 hours after the ordeal began, Russell reappeared at her parents' door at 10.45 p.m. She allegedly told investigators that a mystery man had picked her up and forced her into a vehicle. Russell claimed that she was kept in the trailer of a truck with a man and a woman, and that her abductor fed her cheese crackers and took photos of her. Her story began to fall apart, though, when detectives failed to find any evidence of a toddler going missing along the highway, despite numerous cars passing through the area at the time Russell's initial 911 call was placed. Furthermore, a search of the young woman's device turned up Google searches from before the alleged kidnapping for terms like Amber Alerts and how to take money from a register without getting caught. About a week after her return, Russell admitted that the kidnapping was a hoax and apologized to the community through her lawyer. She also confessed that there was no stranded toddler along the roadside. Russell faces misdemeanor charges of falsely reporting to law enforcement and falsely reporting an incident. Each charge can carry a punishment of up to a year in prison, but Russell will likely suffer more in the court of public opinion than anything else, which has been less than forgiving toward her thus far. But her reasons for committing the phony abduction remain unclear to this day, which must be extremely confusing for her family. 6. Ashton Connor Garcia the crime of making false 911 calls to generate a heavily armed response to an address, also known as swatting, has become increasingly popular in recent years. A 20-year-old man from Washington State named Ashton Connor Garcia was allegedly so enthralled with the act that he placed more than 20 swatting calls throughout the United States and Canada over a three-month period in 2022. According to federal authorities, Garcia concealed his identity by making the calls using voice over internet technology. He's also accused of broadcasting the calls on the Discord platform as a form of entertainment for his followers. But swatting isn't so funny when the dangers of it are taken into consideration. As US attorney Nick Brown pointed out in a statement announcing Garcia's arrest, sending heavily armed police into a home where they believe they're going to encounter a dangerous person unavoidably puts people's safety at risk by creating an unpredictable and terrifying dynamic. Not to mention, the phony calls came at a time when civilians and law enforcement throughout America were on edge due to actual shootings, which have become a seemingly constant problem in the US. Prosecutors claimed that Garcia collected personal information about his victims and threatened to swap them unless they gave up money, credit card information, or explicit photos. And in some cases, armed officers stormed into people's homes with guns drawn and detained the terrified families inside. He's allegedly targeted victims in Alberta, Canada, California, Georgia, Illinois, Kentucky, Michigan, and six other U.S. states. Garcia is also accused of calling fake bomb threats into the Fox News station in Cleveland, Ohio, 
and he also called in threats about a flight that was en route to Honolulu from Los Angeles. He faces 10 federal felony counts, including extortion, threats and hoaxes, hoaxes regarding firearms, interstate threats, and more. Some of the charges carry a sentence of up to 10 years in prison each, and it's likely safe to assume that Garcia has realized that swatting is no laughing matter. 5. Chloe Stein 23-year-old Chloe Stein vanished during her drive home from work in May of 2023, just days before her family and friends planned to watch her graduate from Penn State University. The last person to hear from her was her boyfriend, who received a text message from the young woman stating that she'd been pulled over by police. Chloe's boyfriend tried reaching her, but it was no use. Meanwhile, her family went out looking for her and found her car abandoned along a roadside. A large-scale search ensued, with the state police ponying up tens of thousands of dollars worth of resources in their effort to find Chloe. The case took an unexpected turn when authorities received a tip from someone claiming that Chloe was alive and well at a residence in the city of Jeanette, roughly 30 miles outside Pittsburgh. And it turned out to be true. Chloe told state troopers that she had been blindfolded and abducted at gunpoint by a man posing as a cop before being dropped off in an alleyway. But her story clearly didn't add up, especially since she didn't seem distressed and never sought help from law enforcement. It was soon discovered that she hadn't been enrolled in college for quite some time, leading police to suspect that Chloe faked the kidnapping so her loved ones wouldn't turn up for her graduation ceremony only to realize that she'd dropped out. When confronted about the inconsistencies in her story, she allegedly admitted to making the whole thing up. Chloe was then charged with four misdemeanors, including false alarm to a public safety agency, obstructing the administration of law, falsely reporting an offense that didn't occur, and disorderly conduct. 4. Anthony Campos Galvan Pretty much goes without saying that you likely shouldn't try to re-enter the United States if you've fled the country and are wanted for a major crime. But a 29-year-old fugitive named Anthony Campos Galvan Jr., apparently missed that page in the Crime 101 handbook after his alleged involvement in a deadly Father's Day shooting in 2023. Investigators believe that Galvin murdered 30-year-old Nestor Saldana, who was fatally shot at the pool of an apartment complex in East Houston. Gunfire broke out during a fight between Saldana and another man at around 9 p.m., according to neighbors. The suspect, who was later identified as Galvin, fled the scene before the police arrived. During his time on the run, Galvin was charged in absentia with Saldana's murder. Police advised the public to keep an eye out for the fleeing fugitive, but he made their job easy when he tried crossing into the U.S. from Mexico in August through a point of entry in Brownsville, Texas. According to the most recent update on the case, Galvin is in custody and awaiting extradition to Houston. 3. John and Anne Darwin British former teacher and prison officer John Darwin was reported missing in 2002 after he supposedly failed to return home from a canoeing trip in the North Sea. In reality, though, he was alive and well, but riddled by a mounting pile of debt that he and his wife Anne didn't want to face. Darwin hid out at a property owned by Anne while a massive search effort was carried out. His wrecked canoe was found, but no sign of Darwin turned up. Right off the bat, the circumstances of Darwin's disappearance seemed off. The conditions of the North Sea were calm when he went missing, calling into question how his canoe became so heavily damaged in the day or so between the time he disappeared and when it was found. Darwin was nevertheless presumed dead, and almost nobody outside his family knew any different for years. He spent the first year or so living in extreme secrecy at a small property next to his family's home, and in 2003 he moved back into the house, but apparently he hardly ever left. At one point, a neighbor recognized Darwin and asked, aren't you supposed to be dead? To which he replied, don't tell anyone about this. Not wanting to get involved, the neighbor kept his mouth shut. By playing along with the hoax, Anne was able to escape from her husband's death and collect on his life insurance. Then, in 2004, the couple decided to move abroad. 
They flew to several countries to check out properties, with John using a fake passport to avoid his real identity being discovered. The couple settled in Panama, but a wrench was thrown into their plan when authorities told them that they needed to pass an extra secure background check in order to obtain visas. By then, British law enforcement had caught on to the fact that John Darwin was alive and living under an alias. Knowing that he wouldn't be able to pass the background check for his Panamanian passport, he faked amnesia and let the world find out that he wasn't dead. But it was too late. Investigators had already uncovered a plethora of evidence proving that the Darwins carried out a carefully calculated hoax. A savvy Google user had even found photos of the couple vacationing in Panama during their house hunt. Both John and Anne Darwin were convicted of fraud and sentenced to six years in prison. They were paroled in 2011 and eventually got divorced. John has since remarried, and Anne wrote a book claiming that she was under John's control throughout the entire scam. 2. Katie Sorensen In recent years, a lot of mummy influencers have gone viral for sharing their harrowing accounts of alleged attempts by strangers to kidnap their children in public. The only problem is that in many of these cases, the allegations are either unproven or altogether untrue. A California-based influencer named Katie Sorensen jumped on the bandwagon in late 2020 when she accused a Latino couple of trying to snatch her kids in broad daylight at Michael's Craft Store in the Bay Area. In a video recorded six days after the alleged incident, Katie claimed that the couple commented on her children's fair complexions and followed her into the parking lot. Katie accused the pair of trying to grab her stroller, but said that they fled the scene in their vehicle thanks to a brave elderly couple who heroically intervened. Katie claimed that she made the video in an effort to warn other parents about the very real dangers of their children potentially being kidnapped and the signs she believes people should look out for if they want to protect their kids from human traffickers. The clip went viral and even landed her on the local news. The story also sent mothers all over the state into a protective panic and understandably so. Police launched an investigation and shared footage of the alleged perpetrators that Katie had captured using her cell phone. The couple in question, Sadie and Eddie Martinez, came forward and cooperated fully with law enforcement, insisting that they had nothing to hide and had committed no crimes. Not only did investigators find no evidence of the couple committing any crimes, they had no criminal history whatsoever and were incredibly well-liked in their community. Simply put, there was no reason to believe that they'd tried to kidnap Katie's children. The circumstances of the situation caused many to question whether the Martinez's were falsely accused based on their race. Either way, authorities charged Katie with concocting the story and she was found guilty. And in the end, she was sentenced to 90 days in jail. 1. Missing in Plain Sight in March 2015, a woman named Janie Santana reported her teenage son Rudy missing. She told police that the family's two dogs had returned home without Rudy after he took them for a walk. Eight years later, in 2023, news headlines reported that Rudy was found unconscious outside a church. The 25-year-old was then taken to a hospital, while Santana announced his miraculous return after a nearly decade-long absence. However, neighbors were quick to tell the media that they'd encountered Rudy regularly over the years. One woman even claimed that Rudy often hung out with her kids. Santana insisted that people were mistakenly thinking of her nephew, but community members were adamant that they knew Rudy specifically. Police soon discovered that they too had encountered Rudy repeatedly over the years and that it just claimed to be someone else. Even the young man's relatives accused his mother of keeping him away from them nearly the entire time he was supposedly missing. As the pieces fell into place, rumors began to fly about Santana allegedly holding Rudy captive. Police believed that he was only missing for a day and that his mother went out of her way to uphold the narrative that he hadn't been found. Her reasons for doing so are, however, unclear. Because Rudy was legally an adult when he went missing, Investigators have refused to classify the situation as a clear-cut case of kidnapping or abuse. 
According to the most recent available updates, an investigation was underway to determine if any criminal action would be taken against Santana. During an interview with Fox 26, Rudy admitted that Santana never physically held him captive, but he accused his mother of brainwashing him into feeling obligated to stay hidden and do as he was told. He's reportedly moved in with a relative and has said that he wants no contact with Santana as he works to move on with his life. Since the first case broke, damning allegations against Santana have continued rising to the surface. In addition to the controversy surrounding the false missing persons case, she's allegedly taken eight of her past husbands to court and has been accused of being a serial bigamist. As the case unfolds, the mysteries surrounding her life and circumstances only seem to deepen. If you had a chance to expose an enemy's wrongdoings at the risk of possibly being caught and looking like you'd set up an innocent person, would you consider it? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.